Nancy Lieberman, who is a basketball Hall of Famer, assistant coach with the Sacramento Kings, and uh, Nance kind enough to join us. Nance, uh, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Give people an idea of Pat Summit, the person. We we know the the coach, but was she the same kind of person as she was as a coach? She was uh, she was very humble for for everything that she had obtained and, and done in her career as a player and a coach. Um, when I would go to Knoxville, I mean, she'd be cooking up a storm for people. Uh, you know, my son TJ and and TJ and and Tyler would be playing with Pokemon cards. They'd be on little those motorized jeeps playing in the yard, and we would just be in the kitchen cooking. I mean, that's the side of Pat. Another side of Pat that I know, but can you imagine me being her teammate at 16 and really not knowing where I belong on that Olympic team because I was so much younger? And Pat would just kind of plop in my room, uh, talk to me, you know, walk with me on the court. Uh, you know, she, she would also tell me how important my role is, even though like I was the you know, the 12th man on the 76 Olympic team. She, I remember her saying, you're going to be the 12th man here, but you're going to be the man in the future of women's basketball. Mm. And I didn't know what she meant in 76, but she just gave me so much toughness. Uh, she always said, be humble, no matter what you do, you know, be a great teammate. And, it, you know, I tell this story all the time where, Anytime something major happened to me in my career, whether it was coaching in the WNBA or, you know, coaching men's basketball, I would, I would pick up the phone and I'd call her and I'd say, what do you think? And she would just say, you have to do this. When Donnie Nelson hired me, she was like, Nancy, you have to do this. And she was kind of my, my you know, checks and balances throughout my career. I mentioned the importance of Pat Summit. I didn't think I was overstating it. I, I mentioned that, you know, Dr. Naismith invented this and, you know, put the peach basket up with the ladder there. But she was that to women's basketball. Uh, the importance of Pat Summit to women's athletics as well. Uh, can you sum that up? Yes, I can. Because when she started at Tennessee and Tennessee, you know, started winning championships in 87, Dan, go back in history and find out how many times Pat Summit scheduled a game at the other guy's court to help build their program. She did it for TCU. She did it for Sherry Cole. She did it for UConn. She did it for everybody. Mm. Um, you know, there's no stat line for helping somebody, you know, change how women's basketball is perceived. And I'll never forget, you know, we won the back-to-back -back national championships at Old Dominion. And she looked at me and she says, we have to do this. We have to have a sold-out crowd like you guys do at Old Dominion. And she used Old Dominion as kind of her measuring stick of how she wanted Tennessee to be. And then she just took it to a whole nother level. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.